the, the, the conflicting emotions um, that to, in the years I've been doing this to be a part of a team that has a mental toughness, uh, the resiliency, the courage that this team has. I don't know if I've ever been a part of it before. Um, and, and that's why my heart breaks because we, we just can't, we just can't find the play um, to get them the victory that in my mind they deserve. Uh, I'm just, I, the pride I feel of being a part of this with these guys and the way they, the way they fight, I know the reward is coming. It is, it's just, it's just the way that it works. Uh, It's a play, and, and as coaches, we got to do it better. We got to find that play, because um, in two weeks, it's, it's been it's been about the same story. We certainly uh, there are mistakes that we have to fix. There's mistakes as coaches that that it, we're accountable to make sure that are fixed. Um, but the the, I mean Tyler Van Dyke, what a performance! Unbelievable first road uh, start for a young guy like that. Uh, everything they were throwing at him. So courageous. I mean, and I, I could go on and on of just guys that just just um, so impressed with. Um, there's a good team in that locker room. There's a really good team in that locker room. We don't have a good record, and and, and we are what our record says we are. I understand that, um, but there's a good team in there, and uh, we stay the course. It's it's going to show. Questions. Thank you, Coach. We'll start with Gary Furman from Kane Sport. Gary, go ahead. Hey, Manny, um, can you talk? just about what happened at halftime. I mean, obviously everything was different in the second half. Uh, you clearly made adjustments that somehow got the kids to come out and play like every play was the last of their life and everything. The effort was obviously noticeable. Can you just, you know, expound a little bit on what went on at halftime? I think we just really just playing better, you know? I mean, I mean, I mean, there may have been a thing or two we, we did differently, but um we, we just felt some of the mistakes I know defensively that we we're making in the first half, we, we were just, you know, I mean, obviously the, the quarterback is special and what he's doing with his legs was, you know, certainly the difference for them. Um, um, but we had to just stop helping him, you know, and, and uh, you know, we made some personnel changes. I think that maybe helped us in the, in, in the back end and some younger guys in there playing more snaps, um, which seemed to make a difference. Um, but yeah, I mean, we just, but unfortunately, again, the mistakes we made in the first half gave us very little margin for error um, defensively. Coach, we've got Kobe Price from the Sun Sentinel. Kobe, go ahead. Man, you mentioned the mistakes that were made in the first half. I guess, what, how do you explain why those mistakes were happening? I guess, what mistakes in your eyes uh, were the most costly? Well, like the first touchdown run, they run power in the boundary. and we're, we're too wide on our fit. Um, they got an RPO slant behind them. We have two defensive backs that, you know, one's rolling down to be the unblocked player, make the tackle. Um, and, you know, I mean, it, I mean it, it was basically fit up the way that you'd fit it up all week and we, we don't fit up the right way. And, 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 and the ball runs past, you know, your, your support. I mean, that, that's, that's not a hard, it's not a hard down of football and, and, and that we're responsible as coaches to, to make sure that plays like that. I mean, just, they, they, they can't go for touchdowns. Same thing on the third down. They throw the ball to number 11, which is what they're going to do. It can be a first down. It can't be a touchdown. Part of that is just angles, um, understanding. And that's that's why sometimes, again, just making the adjustments of, of, of getting some different guys in there seem to pay dividends for us. Coach, we've got Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, go ahead. Hey, Manny. Um, obviously, you guys have worked a lot on tackling, but today there were several instances where Guys were leading with the shoulder and not wrapping, and it really cost you, obviously. Um, yeah, two, two, two high-profile ones on the quarterback on how how's a big, strong runner. Um, you know, both and both end up being touchdowns. I mean, those are just those are just gross errors. I mean, we mentioned on this, we mentioned in halftime, you, you you've got to wrap his legs. You, you hit him high. He's just a, he's a difficult guy to bring down in space, even more so. So, again, very disappointing for 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 those plays to to just be such obvious errors um, and something that we, I mean, again, if you look at the second half, um, I mean, crucial plays, critical errors in the second half on a third down in the red zone. And, and we can't get the quarterback on the ground when basically we were designed to, to spill the QB draw to our, to a spy to get him on the ground and, and to not have that happen is, is, uh, 
it was very disappointing. And I guess if I could, as a quick follow, just the drive there at the end, you guys obviously get, you know, within the 20 yard line. Um, what was the play call? I know Tyler got picked, but what were you trying to do? What was he trying to do there? He was throwing an RPO for a touchdown. Um, and he got tipped at the line of scrimmage. Um, so obviously if, you know, if, if the ball got tackled in play, we'd had to run our mayday field goal unit out there, but, but we were trying to, we were trying to win the game right there. Coach, we've got David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Manny, uh, just with Tyler, you know, we could see obviously upset at the end of that, uh, understandably, just how, how is he kind of reacting to that? Obviously such a roller coaster uh, game for him. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's like all of our guys. I mean, it's, it's heartbreak. I mean, I mean, the way they invest and, and the way this team is, look, this isn't, it's like college ball. We're an imperfect team. There's a lot of imperfect teams in college ball, but, but the one thing that this team has is it's got fight. And I think that sums up Tyler Van Dyke. I mean, that guy battles, um, you know, had to come back from throwing some interceptions. I mean, you're, you're kind of, you know, you're in a high profile spot when you make a mistake, everybody kind of notices um, and, you know, missing some throws, which is what's going to happen. And th th that guy, you know, you don't, you don't blink um, the way he fought back and, and led us at the end. Um, and everybody, you know, I feel like this has been two weeks in a row. Everybody on our sideline knew that we were going to win the football game on the last drive. Um, and somehow it just, it didn't come off. And I also want to ask you about James Williams, obviously, Good game for him for the most part, but a couple 15 yard penalties there seemed like he maybe you know, he's obviously a young guy. Just what do you kind of say to him after that series? Where he yeah, thing and, you, uh, you, you, you got to calm down. He's because he's had a couple in the other games also. I mean, I mean, obviously, you can see he, he, he can he can impact the game. Um, but like a lot of guys, you try too hard, you know, instead of just making the plays that are there. And, and um, you know, it, for a guy like James, the only way to get experience is by getting experience. You know, when you play on the road in front of you know a crowd like this and, and just the emotions of the game and um, you got to learn how to manage it. You got to learn how to manage your emotions. And that's just something that, that, um, that all guys learn, you know, in their college career, he's, he's just getting a baptism by fire. Coach, last question for you is from Chris Stock at Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. Uh, Coach, you, you touched on the decision on that at, at the end there. I guess thinking, you know, that Tyler, young guy, two interceptions on the day, it seemed like a lot of passes were getting tipped at the line. I know it's different from the week before against Virginia, but why not play for the field goal at that point? Well, there were a couple of differences. Number one, the difference was that the clock was running. Um, so a field goal would have been a, would have been a chaotic situation to get the field because obviously we were out of timeouts. Um, and it was it was in essence, I mean, it was it was the play that you, you want everybody to come up and stop the run and you kind of just pop it over their head for an RPO. So I mean, Tyler had just Tyler just walked him down the field and he just walked him down the field twice. Um, so to me, I I'm I, I, Putting our confidence in Tyler Van Dyke at that time seemed like a fantastic idea. Um, and it was just one of those unfortunate things where a guy just got a hand up. And, and, and it's not just unfortunate that he tipped it. Then it, you know, it turns into a mad scrum for the ball that somehow, you know, we could have just batted it down. We could have just knocked it down. I mean, that, that's just the margin we're at. We could have, the ball's just laying on the ground. We're still out there playing right now in overtime. And it's just, these are the, these are the breaks that are, that are tough to stomach with a team that's uh, battling like ours. Uh, is but but um, if we keep that fight, we, we the other stuff will come. Coach Diaz, thanks for spending a few minutes with us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you all.